Hey, hey, everybody, it's the Amanda Seals Show. I'm Amanda Seals here diving into one of my favorite segments that we do every week. Watch, don't watch with our film and TV critic, Desmond Thorne. You know why this is one of my favorite segments? Because why? it melds like arts and creativity with efficacy. Yes. It's really like we're going to talk about the art, we're going to talk about creativity, yes. but within the context of don't waste my time. 100%. Holding people accountable. <laughs> yes. Ugh, I love the combo. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this week we have two recent theatrical releases that have been giving the internet a little, little bit of a buzz the past couple of weeks. First off, we have Deadpool and Wolverine. This is the okay. third Deadpool movie. And this time he's obviously with Wolverine. And they're basically trying to stop, like, Charles Xavier's sister from disrupting the timeline. That face is exactly, yes. It's confusing. <laughs> it is, like... to me, a don't watch. I am, number one, Ooh. really not a huge fan of the Deadpool movies in a general sense. It's a very specific thing, it's very right? specific. The Deadpool vibes. Very specific. And I think I'm generally not a fan of them. He may be a really nice guy. I really don't think Ryan Reynolds is like that funny. You know? Oh. And it's a very specific a kind context. of funny. Exactly. And this is a very difficult context. You know, he's in a mask pretty much the whole time. That's a challenge. Mm. So yeah. it basically relies on very funny dialogue that is delivered very, very well, very punchy. And it's just really not my kind of vibe, okay. you know? And also makes me wonder, like, how much of this delivery is he doing on set versus in the booth because he's wearing a mask, you know? So it is it is a tough ah. job. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Got and it. as oh, I was and saying... And just friends. Exactly. And I think that's his bag, you know? Yeah. I don't think this the is as much his bag. Yes. Okay. Being like well, that silly guy. A, a big old bag off of this. Oh, okay, yes. That's oh, yeah. yes. And like I was saying, like the plot is a little too complicated. I feel like you have to be like very deeply in the Marvel world. And that's not the okay. case for all these movies. Like Black Panther, people just hopped in, loved it, and hopped out. It, you know? It's true. <laughs> Um, I will say that, like, Hugh Jackman still has the sauce as Wolverine. Kind of like I mean, we were saying. Yeah. Wolverine. <laughs> he yeah. is Wolverine. Like, I know his aspiration is to be, like, a song and dance man for life. But, like, <laughs> you are Wolverine, the, bro. The like, it, it really is his aspiration, though. He's like, let me go back. To, let me let me please do Broadway. And please. Like, let yeah, me do the music man yeah. again. <laughs> Um, and this film does feature a cameo of one of my favorite black superheroes. I will not spoil in case people don't want a spoiler. It's gotta be but Storm. It was... No. Even though I do love oh. her. I love Storm okay. Down. But this is a different person. So it's great to see him again. Uh, mm. Next up, we have Trap. This is the new film from M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, yeah. This is a... <laughs> Some people are over oh, it. I get it. <laughs> this is uh. a thriller about a guy who takes his daughter to like a superstar pop concert and comes to find out that the concert itself is a trap set up for him yeah. by the FBI and the police because he's yeah. a serial killer on the low. This yeah. one, this is a watch for me. This was... What? Okay, wait, wait. Within <laughs> context, did you like other M. Night Shyamalan -lama 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 videos? For sure. Movies? I haven't seen all yeah, of them. Why? I see? see? I like most like of them. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... Y'all, y'all just listen with an open ear. True, true. If you are an M. Night fan, you'll enjoy this. There you I think go. it's a lot of fun. I think setting up a cat and mouse in this kind of environment yields a lot of tension, a lot of, like fun things. There's also like a really good sense of comedy in here because the premise is so unserious. Like it's an unserious premise, you know? And there are moments that they... Interesting, because that's not his bag. <laughs> I mean, he's not uh, known for like any comedic relief by any means. No, but succeeds in that way in this film. Um, and there's not a huge like M. Night Shyamalan plot twist, you know, which I appreciate. Okay, because I'm like, oh my God. And it Stop never sells. It never the only time it's ever paid off is two films. The yeah. first two. Yes. Sixth Sense, Sixth Sense and Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Period. 
Ever Period. since, I'm like, was this the studio? Who told you this was it? Who told you? <laughs> and I will say in this movie, Josh Hartnett is amazing. Like a career defining performance. He plays all of those layers so well. He's got to be like a dad and a serial killer. He like has to know what's going on and then also pretend like he doesn't know what's going on. He's just, okay. I feel like- Was these Josh film- Hartnett on high school- musical why do we know about josh why do we know about josh hartnett again? josh hartnett from like the faculty and then he did like some rom-coms he was in pearl harbor they tried to make him okay. a heartthrob but okay. he's in his bag now as like a dude in his 40s you know what i'm saying like okay. yeah. let him be just like a dude <laughs> i think it really works Fair. for him you know uh and it's funny that M. Night Shyamalan's daughter plays the pop star because i'm like you low-key made this movie uh for, for your daughter, your daughter. And, uh, well, you know what? We'll get. We'll just give him that because yeah. that's cute. <laughs> if my dad makes movies and I'm trying to be a star and he don't put me in the movie, I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? That's why when people get mad at Nepo babies, I'm like, listen. What do you expect? It is what it is. <laughs> like, and that's that's in every divide. industry too. You know, like every if you're single one. <laughs> if you're in if a woodworking your family, got a barbecue. If yes. your daddy got a barbecue restaurant. You are expected to take over the barbecue restaurant. 100%. That's just the way it is. Like, it's please go is. watch Uncorked. Yes! Um, we, <laughs> well, we always appreciate your thoughts and your insights you. and your inputs. So thank you so much for joining us. And uh, you guys, I also watched some stuff this weekend. I watched... Yes. Um, I watched Time Bandits, which I am really, 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 really enjoying. Ah. And Taika Waititi is directing. And after the first episode, you see his name come up and you're like, that makes sense. So yes. check it out. Yes. Let me know your thoughts. Call me uh. up 1855 Amanda 8. We'll be right back. We up, we up, we up. 